All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at the KO MP, whatever the number thingy is, um, the KO um, Shadow Panther, whatever his name is. <laughs> I was a little worried when I got him out of the box originally because it said, because uh, it had a picture of the Cheetor on there. I'm like, oh man, I didn't want the Cheetor. I have a Cheetor. Uh, I wanted the the Shadow Panther, but it was it was Shadow Panther, so I was I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, um, yeah, let's let's look at this guy. Um, so now I don't have the original because I, I ended up selling it. Um, uh, he actually got broken during uh, a review by Mister Skullface. Um, so, the risk we take sending those figures to him, right? <laughs> um. So, first thing, you know, my first feeling out of the box, especially, you know, because he comes in cat mode and you got to transform him, is this guy is just solid. Um, I mean, he is just... There's nothing floppy on this guy. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Um, head... Is on a swivel left and right. My original one, his head was so floppy, um, like up and down. Uh, looks up, looks down, left, right, no issues there whatsoever. Uh, one issue I did, I am, I have come across, is that I have a hard time keeping the plate or getting the face plates in right. But that's because the friction joint that holds it into place is super tight. And then once I get it in there, it's in there. It is in there um it's just it's just really tight um let's see i'm trying to just get those cat leg modes out of the way uh he's got the uh the gut gun as well as the tail gun um this one just kind of i didn't actually transform it yesterday when i got it out of the box i just kind of messed with it a little bit um Straight down, or yeah, it comes down this way. And this will fold up like this. The problem, the problem with this gun that I've always had is the way that this piece here sits and the way the handle sits is it's hard to get it into his hand without it interfering with his arm. So it always has to be off to the side. So it's not a well-designed gun, but it is there. Um, let's see here. Shoulders uh, have a butterfly joint in here, and they also uh, butterfly outwards like that. All that works well. He's got a nice tight shoulder joint here um, that uh, actually moves a little, like the other joints around it move first. Uh, this swivels, uh, looks like they're, the plastic has kind of split a little bit there because that's because the screw is here not in the middle i see um it works fine though double bend elbow uh wrist let's see move that out of the way wrist swivels hit wrist hinges hinges in and out uh, fingers are on one hinge all that works pretty well and waist swivel hips uh they move up to here back to there they probably go a little bit further back but he's got all this stuff in the way thighs out to the side um same on this side these are really tight um so rotating around for robot mode was a little on the scary side i was like "Ooh, that is tight 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 uh, I kind of wonder if they're on backwards, to be honest. Like, this this one should be here, and this one should be here. I'm kind of curious on that. Um, thigh swivel. Double bend knee. Gets you the full range. No issues there. Looks good. Feels good. 
um, foot's on the rocker and there's a tilt down, a little bit up, toe tilt up, and then, yeah, uh, and then the heel spur does also move as well. Accessory wise, he comes with the same stuff that he um, originally would have come with. Uh, so he's got the tail gun, the gut gun, um, three different panther heads. Uh, with the removable eyes that you so you can kind of rotate them around so that he's looking differently All of them work pretty well. I, I like to take the head off So that the chest is has an easier time collapsing. So he's got the like kind of angry face he's got the kind of stoic face and slightly smiley face And then he's got the uh, the evil bug face. This one I have a hard time really getting in there, um, getting a good solid connection in there. But it does work. It's just not as easy. And then he also comes with the um, little clip communicators from that one episode we saw that one time. So this one's for cheetah mode. And this one's for robot mode. And that just plugs onto the arm. Like that. And yeah. Um, I don't, I don't got much more to say about this guy. Uh, I'm just kind of messing with his joints. Uh, his joints are a little bit more, uh, I would call, refined because they kind of move a little bit smoother. Um, not, uh, his joints are a little tighter. So, yeah. Uh, um, let's see here. So yeah, um, so I always say, you know, KO with purpose. And and in this case, there's not much of a purpose to this KO uh, in general. Like, it's not like Shadow Panther was all that hard to get when he first came out. Um, a little bit harder now because he's been out for years. Um, but it's, it's really, there's not much of a purpose to the KO. You know, like, if, if they... When they were doing the, the MP Star Scream, if they would have done all the Rainmakers, you know that would have been a per, you know KO with a purpose. There's not much of a purpose on this one. Um, main reason why I got it was because I wanted to kind of test out to see how well these figures uh, are, um, because I don't want to spend that the Takara level money on on beast modes. Just having beast modes for these guys. Because um, I'm toying with that idea. So, you know, it, it's, that's the only reason why I'm getting it. Otherwise, I wouldn't condone purchasing it because, you know, you can get the official. You know, and, so I would say, you know, like if you can get the official, just get the official. Um, I will say, you know, the official Shadow Panther, which I, of course, I don't have to show you, he, he had a, uh, his head joint was a little on the loose side, and that was it. Other than that, he, he worked pretty well. Um, that and, you know, he got broken at one point. Um, but it wasn't even a break that really mattered all that much. So, um, it's one of those, it's like, I've got nothing against this figure. I think it's a great figure. Uh, if you do buy it, you're not going to be, you're not going to regret it. But I cannot recommend it in good conscience because he's not all that cheaper than the official was. Um, and... You know, he, he, there's nothing in here that strives and has tons of more improvement than the official. So, you know, it's just it's just a straight knockoff, you know, copy of an official product. And that's the part where I can't really condone it. It's one of those, like, you know, you won't regret getting it, but you're also not going to be blown away by it. Um, and just, you know, just know that it's, 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 as almost as good as the official not as good um i definitely would say the official overall just works better like my cheetor is just solid uh, you know my shadow panther which is probably just a 
issue there. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think I'm going to give him a rating, um, just because, you know, he's just, <sighs> there's nothing about him that's special. So, you know, he's good. I'm happy with my purchase. Don't get me wrong, but there's nothing about him that makes that sets him worlds apart apart from the official. So I I'm, I just don't think I'm going to give him a rating. I'm just going to say, you know, buy at your own risk if you want it. If you already have it, don't buy it. There's no reason to, unless you're like me and you kind of want to do beast modes. Um, which again, that's the only reason why I bought it was just to kind of test it out and see if they're worthwhile as beast modes. And I would say yes, he is, but. Just because I don't want to buy, like I said, Takara. I'm just rambling now. I don't know. It, it's a it's a good figure. Um, I'll recommend it to an extent, but you know, if you have the official or the official's available, you might want to just go ahead and get the official. You know, there's no point to get the KO on this. You know, it's it's not worldly cheaper. It's not worldly better. It doesn't claim to have improvements. You know, like the. Um, the MP4 44 and the MP36 KOs, like they're like, oh yeah, this is better, and because it doesn't chip paint, it doesn't scratch, the paint doesn't scratch, and it's better because the backpack's more compressed and blah blah blah. You know, it, it's not like that. It's just a straight copy. So, you know, and it's not like uh, the Starscream molds even, where it's like, oh yeah, we've improved the uh, the ankles and the knees, and it's like, oh okay. You know, that's, that's cool. You know, at least they did some sort of improvement there. But there's nothing on this that's better. And there's nothing on this that's really all that worse. So the problem with things like this is that, you know, I can see this going on eBay, you know, and somebody saying it's the official. And you wouldn't know the difference because it feels about like the official. And that's, that's where it's like I really don't want that to happen. So I would say if you can get the official, get the official. And if not... You know, then you look at the KO. Um, but there's no, there's nothing on this figure that's like, oh my god, this it's a must buy. It's just he's fine. Yeah, he, he's good. He's just not the official product, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, I guess that's all I got.